1969, the Apollo 12 mission launched from KSC. Seconds into flight, the rocket got hit by lightning, not once, but twice. This launch led to a scientific breakthrough. Turns out the rocket didn't randomly get struck. It actually caused the lightning. So now scientists at UF are using this same scenario to catch bolts and study them. New at 11, I joined these scientists to find out how these experiments are getting results for you. If you drive through the tiny town of Star, over the train tracks, and make a left on Lightning Strike Road. So this is where the magic happens. Oh, uh, yeah. This is where the rockets are fired. Actually. You'll find an otherworldly contraption a six-barreled rocket launcher. People email us all the time asking us how they can do this in their backyard. And they do not. They do, because <laughs> they want to do it to their neighbor. <laughs> but this launcher doesn't aim for bad guys or neighbors. Three, two, one, fire. Its target, lightning. Oh, yeah. And 50% of the time, oh, these man. researchers from UF hit it. You tell it where to go. You tell it where to go. When to go there. Yeah. And then you study every aspect. we can make any measurements on it we want. Dr. Martin Newman has been triggering lightning here on Camp Blanding Military Base for nearly 20 years. This place was built from scratch in, in uh, 1996. Scientists here at the International Center for Lightning Research use rockets attached to long spools this of is, wire. This is 32 gauge copper wrapped in Kevlar. To measure every aspect of a strike. Here's how it works. High-speed cameras catch a lightning strike. It funnels down these tubes through this braided wire into a steel box, then into the ground. A half-second lightning strike whoa, pumps 50 gigabytes of information through these fiber optic wires into this launch trailer. There's not like a kit you buy for this. No, 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 there's no kit. Yeah, go to Radio Shack. Ask her for the lightning initiation <laughs> kit. The information learned in these experiments has had a huge impact. Here we have a house here that we struck to test the lightning protection of the house. And lightning standards have been created for houses, planes, and oil pipelines. We do these things in millionths of a second frame. They've learned lightning emits x-rays. There it is. And through still pictures like this, scientists have learned the biology of a bolt. As for the future, the goals are straight out of a sci-fi movie. Maybe one day control thunderstorms, control lightning. One day so, control thunderstorms? Sure. That You think that's a possibility? Eventually, yeah. Like, eventually, like how many years down the road? Eventually we're going to control everything. Oh, I don't know, 30, 40? So if you thought catching lightning in a bottle was impossible, oh. here it happens 30 times a summer. <laughs> Come on, really that's crazy cool. stuff, yeah. right? Now, some people have asked me if they can get lightning to strike where they want. Can they harness that power and then maybe right. use it to power things that we use? Well, it turns out they can actually do this already, but lightning is such a short burst of power, and if you harness it, I was really surprised to hear this, you could only power one 60-watt bulb for two weeks, Dr. Human tells me, so it would actually take thousands of strikes to power a house. Which is shocking. You'd think because they're so powerful, it would just take yeah, one. Yeah, you would yeah. think you could power a city for a week or something yeah. with one bolt, but apparently that's just not the case.